Here we're looking at a head pressure control. It's called the Alco Headmaster. A simple valve designed to control head pressure. Uh, primarily in refrigeration systems, uh, not so much in air conditioning. Refrigeration systems have to operate year round, so it could be zero outside and it's still operating because it may be a freezer, you know, whatever, even a cooler. And so you need some sort of head pressure control to keep the head pressure up high enough so that the machine will continue to refrigerate. Well, one of the most common ones is this thing. This is an HP AT7110. Now this is an old R12 uh, valve. And uh, so it has 110 pound pressure, it's pretty low. Anyway, uh, I'm going to take a look at this thing. I'll kind of show you how it works. Actually, the instructions tell you a lot about how it works. So it'll give you a pretty good idea. And I'll go over that with this video. It's a three-way valve. It has a dome right here that has a preset pressure on it. The pressure is 110 PSIG, as you can see on this. That's the pressure that's inside this dome. I'm going to take this thing apart and I'm going to show you a diagram for how this thing works. Here I've got it taken apart and you can see we got a spring and we've got a valve right here. Now if you look inside you can see there's the seat and in the very center is a push rod that comes down from that dome right there with that pre-charge of 110 pounds in it. We have it apart and uh, this shaft goes in here to transfer that pressure under the dome to here which will push down on this. Okay, okay the outlet of the condenser, this will be liquid refrigerant, will be coming in here, be filling this area here and pushing up uh, and attempting to close this valve against that seat right there. Counteracting that is this trying to push down with a set pressure of 110 pounds. Well, as the refrigerant comes in here, it has a certain pressure on it. If the pressure is high enough, then the, uh, the shaft that's coming down this way cannot overcome the pressure. And it's 110 pounds plus the uh, spring pressure. So the valve stays closed. If it stays closed, the refrigerant passes from here over to here. And you can see that passage right there. So it'll just continue operating like this valve wasn't even there if the pressure is high enough in the condenser. Now, what happens when the pressure gets too low? Okay, the pressure around this here lowers and as it lowers the spring pressure or the dome pressure is going to overcome the pressure coming in here and plus the spring pressure and it's going to start opening the valve. Now this is a modulating valve. It doesn't just open wide when it goes. It feeds both ways actually. And I'll show you a diagram of this in a little bit. Liquid refrigerant coming from the condenser here normally goes out here. Once this starts to open, then discharge gas coming straight from the compressor comes in here. Once it overcomes that pressure, hot gas coming from essentially right at the compressor comes into here and goes straight out here into the receiver. So it starts bypassing. It doesn't bypass completely because if it bypassed completely, then 
this bulb or this uh, dome pressure would probably overcome and throttle it off. So it starts bleeding a little bit of hot gas into straight to the receiver. Now I'm going to give you a sort of a diagram. It comes with a kit on this thing. Okay, looking at these two figures, under normal operating conditions, hot gas comes up here. There's a tap here that goes over here through the bypass, but this is closed off because the outside temperature is high enough. So the refrigerant simply goes through the condenser, goes into the bottom, that part right there, and goes out this port right here to the receiver, and it acts like any normal uh, refrigeration system would. However, if that uh, head pressure gets too low and this valve starts to open you still have liquid refrigerant that's coming in here but it's going to bypass the condenser here and it's going to travel through here and go across to the receiver now it may bypass 10% it could bypass 20 or 30 percent. If it's very, very cold, it could be bypassing 50 or more percent of the hot gas that would normally go into the condenser actually through the valve and straight into the receiver. That's going to increase head pressure. And it's pretty much automatic. There's no electrical to it. There's no uh, fan controls or nothing like that. It's all just done by this valve. Now, the valve is I'm pretty much time tested. These things have been around forever. Excellent head pressure control for refrigeration applications. And it's just a modulating valve that bypasses the condenser when the head pressure is lower than it should be. That's pretty much that valve. There's not much to it. Hope this helps.